As I continued my spring travels heading southwest from New Brunswick, the grass became greener and the trees started to burst forth leaves. However, it was hard to notice through all those passing trucks. After a short time in Pennsylvania, I entered the state that leaves no one behind. Well, I made it to Maryland. And it's hotter than hell here. 32 Celsius, which I think is about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot for me. Uh, I mean, just this morning in Pennsylvania, I had to put the heater on in the middle of the night because it was getting close to freezing. But there's no danger of it freezing right now, that's for sure. About 45 minutes west of Hagerstown is the Green Ridge State Forest. I'd never been here before and nobody recommended it to me. I just merely found it on a map. A little hilly. Gravel roads, but they're in good shape. Most of them anyway. The odd little bump. Bit of a tight fit, but it'll do. Green Ridge is a recreational park with campsites dispersed over a large area. I chose one just a short distance from Highway 68. Once I had finished unpacking, I packed it in for the night. Coffee time. It was amazingly pleasant last night. I mean, it was really hot during the day, but at night, it was probably around, I don't know, 62, 63, 14 degrees Celsius, which was just so nice. I actually even had a little bit of a fan on just to circulate the air. It's the first night that I haven't had to use the, the heater, the, uh, the little propane heater. No need, it was perfect. Um, but yeah, I think summer's almost here. Not expecting any snow. The only white stuff falling from the sky were flower petals from the dogwood trees. Now it is supposed to rain today. That's why I've got the uh, awning down might as well be prepared for it. And my awning is starting to get a little old. It's going to be time to replace it soon. But for now, what on earth? Hey, I just realized the cup holder doesn't hold my coffee cup. It's too small. I mean, this is a standard size tin camping cup. Smokey the Bear on there. That's an insult. I'm gonna have to talk to Campin' World on this. Well, that kind of fits. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this cup, probably with some wire or something. Because, hey, there's no excuse. You gotta be able to use your favorite camping 
coffee cup. Oh well, always something I have to do. So I gotta fix the door as well. I noticed the, uh, it's not closing very well. I think it's uh, just the hinges are a little out of adjustment. There is always something I have to do when I'm out camping. The last place I camped in Pennsylvania was Delaware State Park. Uh, and that's where I paid, <laughs> it was supposed to be $10 a night and then it turned to $15 a night and then it turned to $21.50 uh, when you put in the transaction fee because you had to do it online. I am now in Maryland. This is uh, Green Ridge State Park and the camping is $10 and guess what? It's only $10. It does not matter where you're from. All people are equal. I like that. And uh, you pay the same amount, whoever you are. And you pay $10. You pay in an envelope, just like the old days, put it in a slot. And there is no online, no phone up somebody, no transaction fee. What do you get? You get a picnic table. There is no toilets right here. There's no water, unless you want to go to the stream and filter it. And of course, there's no plug-ins. It's just a spot to camp. It's primitive, it's simple, and it's the way that I want to camp anyway. Now, there is a headquarters a short distance away that does have restrooms with water and toilets. So it's not that bad. So for $10, is this a good deal? Absolutely. April here is the time for spring flowers. But you don't get flowers without showers. Well, as expected, it's raining this afternoon, which is okay. Cools it off a little bit. Makes everything a little bit greener. Lunch for today peanut butter and banana. Well, the rain definitely cooled it down a lot. The heat wave is over and the rain also did something else. It revealed another problem I have with this back window. It leaks, it leaks inside the trailer just opposite this area right here. It was dripping down, I saw it. That is gonna be a huge problem. I have to fix it. Now, in an ideal world, what I would be doing is I would be taking this window completely out, uh, getting new seals for it and replacing it. That's not gonna happen when I'm traveling. What is going to happen is I'm gonna see if I can get this rubber off and uh, see if I can seal it up. Now, I see there's a big gap right here. Oh, and there's a lot of mud on it. Tons of mud. That's probably part of the problem right there is this mud. Okay, I'd love to be hiking today, but I know in a few days it's going to be rain, rain, rain wherever I go. So this is the only window of opportunity I'm gonna to get to fix this. So, no hiking today. I started off by peeling back the rubber weather stripping. That way I could see what was happening underneath. It turned out the rubber wasn't protecting anything as the sill channel was full of mud and water. With a paper towel in the groove, I made an attempt to soak some of that muck up. It took quite a few paper towels, but I did manage to get it clean. Well, I've got most of the mud out of the groove, uh, and I've cleaned it up a little bit. 
But now I've got to work on the rubber because it's a mess as well. I could use soap and water. What I think I'm going to use are mineral spirits because that'll get the grease off and it dries rather quickly. Um, I don't want to waste time waiting for this to dry. So let's just put that on there. Oh yeah, cleans it right off. That's what I need. Some mineral spirits on a Q-tip cleaned up those harder to reach grooves. I've cleaned up the channel and the rubber as best as I could. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, rubber's actually livened up a little bit, but I did find the mineral spirits did leave a little bit of a residue, so I had to wipe that down and wipe in the channel as well. Now the next step I want to do is apply a little caulking before I put the rubber in. However, I cannot use caulking unless I know it is 100% dry. There's no moisture, and I know there was a lot of moisture in there just a short time ago. Even just wiping it out isn't going to get it all. Gotta get it dry. I have a solution. Of course, I always bring the Jackery anyway. It's got AC so I can run a hair dryer. Now people have been giving me a hard time, why do I bring a hair dryer? Well, this is why, not to look pretty. I think that's as dry as it's gonna get and it's starting to cloud over. It wasn't supposed to rain today, but it might, so I gotta get going on this. I have some uh, marine silicone, clear transparent by GE, 100% waterproof, and it's dripping on me right now. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do, and I don't know if it's correct, but I gotta do something, is I'm gonna put the silicone in the channel, and then I'm gonna put the rubber over top of it. It's probably gonna be a little bit messy, but as long as it works, I don't care. In pushing the rubber back in place, I thought a latex glove would help, but it really didn't. I still got covered with silicone. Now the rubber is not sealing, so I'm putting another bead of silicone right where the rubber meets the glass. Now I'm not sure if silicone and rubber will adhere to each other, but I do know it adheres to glass. So hopefully that'll give me the seal I need. As the sealant cured, I decided to go exploring in the Jeep. Sign says, Point Lookout. Let's see what we got. We have a wall. And the view is absolutely fantastic. That's the Potomac River where it snakes between Maryland and West Virginia.
In all that fresh spring green, it's a spectacular sight. But I think this bald eagle had an even better view. And as he soared amongst the clouds, he seemed just as taken by its magnificence as I was. Well, it's dry. And uh, yeah, actually, I think there's a good seal and it is sticking to the rubber. So I think the combination of the two should do it. Awesome. Now I have to wait for rain, which shouldn't be an issue. It always rains where I'm going. Time for some grub though. I worked up an appetite. Well, I think the trailer looks the same as it did last time. Heater's over there now, kitchen area, bed. Um, not much has changed. I'm gonna show you uh, what happened to the uh, old furnace later on. But for now, I gotta look for something to eat. I don't think there's much up here. Pancakes for supper, I don't think so. It's gonna be down here. And this is my new storage space where the furnace used to be. Not much in there right now. I'm sure to fill it up. But most of my stuff is in my cooler. And I think for tonight, this is gonna be most of it. So our featured meal for tonight includes some Franklin Farms barbecue tofu bites. I found these in uh, Walmart in Cumberland, I think it was called, with some sugar snap peas, some fat noodles, and some scallions. Little oil, and the only thing I've changed recently, I got a scut squeaks a lot. Whoa, yeah, gotta oil that. I also have to oil this, and this is my new frying pan. There's a place in Canada called Canadian Tire, and they always give phenomenal deals, like I got, I think, 79% or some silly thing off this, which is a Ninja frying pan, non-stick, hard as a rock. So I used to use the um, cast iron one. Too much of a hassle to clean up, so I'm gonna try this. The less I have to clean up, the less dishes I have to do, I'm a happy guy. So, got that. Get my little zapper here. Zap away. Now we have heat. The chopped scallions go in first. Then the snow peas. The seasoned tofu already had a sauce. Then the udon noodles. And a little water to soften them up. Five minutes and it was all done. And as always, the most important thing, the taste test. Curious about those barbecue cubes. It definitely adds a little bit of flavor. They're not, they're subtle. It's a subtle, I mean, it's tofu. There's only so much you can do with it. And the snap peas, one of my favorites. Mmm. Love it. Hey, but I always share. Here, try some. Tastes great, right? Whoa, it was cold out last night. It was uh, below freezing, which meant I had to put the heater on. 
Now I've had that heater on, I think this trip at least six nights and uh, I haven't checked the propane. I know I've used quite a bit, but I don't know how much. So it's time to check. And when I was in, uh, I actually haven't filled up since before uh, I went winter camping. So it's gotta be a lot less. And to find out how much fuel is in the tank, I don't use these little gauges because uh, they're not accurate when it gets cold. What you need to do is measure, uh, not by pressure, but by weight. And so I picked up a Grill Pro little scale. It just fits on just like that. And I just keep it strapped to the tank so I know where it is. And take these on here. And this is made for a 20 pound tank. And this is very accurate. So, up. And what have I got? Wow. I'm between a half and a quarter, so I'm gonna have to fill it up soon. But uh, right now, I can probably do at least a couple more nights, so that's good. It's good to know because I know tonight, uh, where, wherever I'm going, because the whole area is, uh, is in this cold front, that I'm probably gonna use the heater again. I've got the trailer packed, I'm ready to head out again, but before I do, I just wanna give you a couple more notes on Green Ridge State Park in Maryland. I really like it. I wish I'd spent more time here. There is so much to see. It's a large park, but what I particularly like is the camping. There's, I think, close to 100 campsites, and they're all widely dispersed. Like, I've got this whole hill to myself, you drive around and you even get a free map so you know where all the campsites are. You pick a spot, you go back to the headquarters, you put some money in an envelope. You know, it's, it's first come, first serve. You get here early, you're probably gonna find a really good spot and there are so many. I picked this one because I came in on a Friday and a lot of the good ones are really available, but they're all good, they're all unique, but you can get places down by the little stream in the valleys, uh, more heavily shaded, wide variety. I, I wish I could spend more time. You can spend hours along the trails, along the roads here, but unfortunately, I'm kind of in a rush these days. I might come back later on, but uh, well recommended. And by the way, the signal is phenomenal. I got a cell signal of five bars, so there must be a tower around here somewhere. Come out here, it's worth the 10 bucks. Anyway, I'm off. See you in my travels. And if you'd like a notice of my next video, please hit the subscribe button. Happy travels!